are chickening out. No, I can't. Function in the switching system, today's real schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Very well, time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait! <gasps> The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. 
This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! Are you awake? Good morning! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go! We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Morning! Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukan High! You're gonna love it here! You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? I think they're posted on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later!
Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. My, aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... I heard we got a transfer student. Yep, I've seen her too. She came to school with Hikari. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Ugh, at it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Funny, huh? Um, hello? Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun! By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you, walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? What is she, your nanny? Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. No prob, my door's always open, so to speak. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back.
I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. <sighs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. She's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Do you... Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to his lame jokes. Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. What's happening to me? Hmm. She's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, 
an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Have you come here before? A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kinda not for us yet. Welcome back.
How is she? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Talk about go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain! We have to get out of here now! Hurry, downstairs! We'll leave through the back door! Wait, take this! Just in case. Okay, let's go. Follow me. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer! Keep moving! Hurry! Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Are you kidding me? It climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here goes.
Is it over? <laughs> it's still moving! No! Get away from me! Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please, remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against, and the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Thanks. But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, 
I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from her. As soon as she wakes up, I'll tell her the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second year girl's gotta stick up for each other after all. Bye. Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. I wasn't sure what I'd do if anything had happened to you. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of. But the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. 
I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Uh, don't think too much. Just hang out with us for a while. Please, we need your help. Hey, don't say it like that. How would she be able to say no under all that pressure? Don't get me wrong, it'd be nice if she joined, but... Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. gonna fall asleep in there can I have a minute come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm I have something to tell everyone I'll save the details for later see you there she's probably busy with things like student council unlike us Ooh, Yucatan do I sense some hostility well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... never mind. Let's go. About earlier, it's not that I don't like her or anything, you know? Oh, I'm talking about Mitsuru-senpai. Why does Junpei always have to talk about stuff that isn't any of his business, huh? Plus, he says it all in the creepiest, most perverted way. He's like the poster boy for sexual harassment. You know, last year he... Welcome back. We were huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? 
You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Huh, that's good. You should, since you're a Persona user. But man, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? It'd be nice to have a guy around too, wouldn't it? Huh? Uh, yeah. So anyway, glad to join the team. You can count on me. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax. I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? B but why? Why did our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. Whoa, it's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Uh, you're in charge. What? But she's a girl! Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? 
Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. Alright, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? I've been waiting for you. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably. You are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce, but please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role the manner in which I can best assist you. Ah, but before I forget, do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. My name is Theodore, but please, Feel free to call me Theo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. That's what you picked to dwell on? Oh, I get it. You're trying to yank my chain here. Don't worry though, I got you covered whenever you need it, man. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, let's go. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, 
You mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? Takiba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. That one just won't die! Please hit! I couldn't defeat it! just like music connect Roger! I'll attempt to analyze the enemy! A complete Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Been a little while, but I'm still battling. Moving fast while you just prattling. No time for me, no tangling. Ah! A wisely chosen attack. One more! One enemy remains. Who's the man? Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Persona! You attacked the enemy's weak Get him! Persona! Finish it off. Ha! They won't give up. Two enemies remain. Don't get yes. Excellent attack. Nice. I summon you. You struck the enemy's weak Here's point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Here, you son of a- 
There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Persona! You exploited the enemy's weakness! Nice! attack. Damn! I couldn't finish it off. Three enemies remain. Ha! This thing won't give up! I summon you! Enemy is vulnerable. Yes! Attack! I summon you! One more! Just one more! Sona! That one just won't die! One enemy remains. Ha! This thing won't give up! No tangling. Hit you in a spot with no angling. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power, but damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that.
That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the Student Council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, the school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as Student Council President, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Damn, that was freaking amazing. Hey, did you understand what she was talking about? <laughs> I figured you wouldn't. That's kind of a relief, then. We live in the same dorm, but it's like we're on different planets. Man, if she asks for my opinion, I don't know what I'll say.
Man, would you look at that? I hear they're always swarming Akihiko Senpai like that. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who, us? I... I guess so. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The... the police station? Uh, are your friends gonna come along too? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, why can't he be more friendly? <sighs> Man, how can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Well, guess we gotta go. Sheesh, talk about putting a damper on a guy's afternoon.
Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. And this is from Ikutsuki-san. Really? Sweet! You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Officer Kurosawa has connections. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you too. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer. But it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right.
Welcome back. Welcome back. 